Well, duck hunting season opens in Victoria later this month and with it the annual resumption of hostilities between hunters and animal lovers. Last year, 7.30 broadcast graphic footage of hundreds of dead birds dumped in wetlands. Well, tonight we can reveal that such unsustainable hunting is on the rise and according to a leaked report, regulators feel unable to enforce the rules. Lauren Day with this exclusive report. This is one of the Ramsar wetlands in Kerrang and of course once duck shooting comes to an end these wetlands could be opened up to nature-based wetlands tourism and that's where the big money is. It's sunrise over Lake Cullen and the early birds are up. So too is their longtime defender, Laurie Levy. And I can see four freckle ducks at the moment. He's preparing for another season rescuing ducks after one of the deadliest he's ever seen. There was a, a bloody massacre out there and it was shocking. Well, we brought out just on 1,500 uh, birds, um, 296 were protected species. Good duck. Teal. Teal. Good duck. Hole. They're all whole. 7.30 obtained footage of the aftermath of last season's opening weekend, which revealed two pits containing almost 200 whole game birds. The footage also appeared to show questionable hunting practices, including downed ducks left to die in the water while hunters continued shooting other birds. That chaotic weekend sparked the closure of this game reserve and an independent review into the regulatory body that's supposed to ensure responsible and sustainable duck hunting. 7.30 has obtained a leaked copy of that review and its findings are damning. It found non-compliance with hunting laws is commonplace and widespread, that even the Game Management Authority's own staff don't believe it can ensure compliance or effectively sanction hunters who break laws, that its inability to do so has undermined its credibility and integrity, and that by any standard, the GMA has failed to deliver on its responsibility to enforce the hunting laws. It's a very comprehensive report. Uh, all I can say is, all of, we're taking it very seriously. The board is supportive of the recommendations made. As I said, we've implemented the ones that we can implement, that we have the power and the resources to do now. Well, when I first saw the report, I had hoped that uh, the report would force the minister to bring duck shooting to an end for all time. Oh. Hunters are also unhappy. Field and Game Australia represents around 18,000 shooters and wants to see those who break the law punished. We've uh, submitted a report to Minister Pulford um, stating our concerns along with two other hunting organisations about the ability of the GMA to fulfil its role. The very first hard test that the GMA had to pass, they didn't get through so well. If their performance doesn't improve, would you consider shutting down the GMA? Well, I think um, today it's premature to speculate about the results of um, some work that we're undertaking as a government. Um, it is entirely possible uh, that the GMA will not survive this process in its current shape, in its current form. The Game Management Authority says it's made a number of changes since last duck season. The start time on the opening weekend is later, the licence testing tougher, and hunters will now be breaking the law if they don't retrieve shot ducks or harvest their breast meat. There's nothing in that report which would indicate that we cannot regulate efficiently and effectively with the support of responsible hunting behaviour a duck season in Victoria. Can you ensure Victorians who are paying about $5 million a year for the Game Management Authority that their money's not being wasted and that the authority can actually do the job that it's been tasked with? Look, we're not, we're not perfect. Uh, we're, we're not there yet and we need help. We need help from hunters themselves. It's, so it's really critical. We can only do what we can do. I think we're getting very good value for the relatively small budget and relatively small authority that we have. About 20 k's from the site at the centre of last duck season's controversial opening weekend, Paul Hoare is tending to his sheep. His property fronts another wetland which is popular with hunters. Well, when the lake's full, the water's within 50 metres of the, the house and, of course, 
so of just course, those, those just, da just down there, yep. and, uh, and we quite often get pellets landing on the roof. In their defence, shooters argue they contribute around $400 million into local communities. Paul Hoare says those figures are overblown. Most of them come up here from Melbourne, camp in their tents, so they're no value to the caravan park or anything like that. But next day they might come in for a cup of coffee and uh, get some petrol and things like that. And you can't tell me that's millions of dollars. He's hoping a dry summer will keep the birds and hunters away at least until authorities can fix what he believes is a broken system. If we had a plebiscite today, duck shooting would be banned tomorrow. And I can see the day, because they've become so irresponsible. I know there are lots and lots of people in the community who don't like duck hunting, um, but it's very important for many people in the community and you know most of them are very committed to its sustainability. Lauren Day reporting there.